Good afternoon. My name is Josh, and we are back with some more risk. I took about 20, 25 minutes. Um, I just wrapped up my second game. It didn't go too well. Spoiler alert. It was okay. I took second place. And we are back because I have some more time to kill. So, let's do some more fixed cards. I hope I have enough time. Oh no, it's not available to join. Give me this one, quick! Did I make it? Yes, I made it! Cool. No, he quit. Give me a lobby, quick, I need something. <laughs> okay, give me a second. Alright, let's do it! So I mentioned in the, in the other video that I would uh, want to play with other Risk players from the community, and I think I will, but how I'm trying to get it done is what I'm still trying to figure out. Uh, okay, the North America Chronicles still continue. I guess I will be taking North America once again. I know, I know I should do other, uh, other continents, but uh, the auto placement... Oh, excuse me. I guess the auto placement is going to give me North America once again. So, as I said, the North, the North America Chronicles shall continue. Now the red player is going to go for Europe, which is fine. He is... The black player also has a shot at Europe, so they might have a conflict over that, which is good. Let them have a pissy fit over that. The purple player could probably go for Australia. The white player has Africa. The green player is probably the odd one out, and I will have North America. Or, or... Or, or your boats, or I can, oh snap, check him out. Um, or I could go for Australia because just like Champion ever said, shout out to him, no Australia, no win. This mic sounds horrible. Oh, okay, well, the purple player is going to go for Australia, which is okay. That's fine. As long as you don't take Australia within your first turn. Jeez, what was that, a five against a three? Good. That's fine. Don't do it! Um, let's see, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put all my troops... Uh, I hope you don't take Australia the first turn, because then you're gonna be a target. Smart! Um, I'm not going to take any territories, so I'm going to either use my territories in, what is this, new, I'm not going to say that, I'm not going to, I don't know how to, how to pronounce that, so I'm not going to slaughter it. I don't know which one I will stall first. I will either stall, well, all my troops are going to go here, I'm going to take North America. Should I... Let's use this Ukraine. Uh, I guess not. The backup plan is to do this. Alright. My original plan was to use Ukraine and try to stall the purple player from taking Australia. But by the looks of it, the green player is also going for Australia because no Australia, no win. Cool. See, as I was saying, I used to play Risk on my phone because I didn't have a computer at the time, but now I do have a computer. Congratulations, me. And with this computer, I was bored. Oh, excuse me. With this computer, I downloaded Risk and I thought, huh, I wonder if it'll run. And it does. So I downloaded a screen recorder. And now I'm tr trying to figure out how to capture another person's voice. I haven't downloaded Discord on my computer yet. I wanted to avoid it because I don't like how as soon as you start up your computer, Discord launches and it plays that stupid noise. 
So, like, if I'm in the middle of, like, my class at school, it's, like, super quiet. I turn on my computer, and then you hear, you hear that Discord thing. That would just be awful. So, what I want to do is try to find a way to not have Discord launch up as soon as I open up the computer. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Donut, do it. Donut, do it. Donut, do it. Come on. Okay. So yeah, I just need to find a way to do that. And then I also need to find a way to have Discord or have my screen recorder capture the voice. And yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. But in the meantime, fixed cars it is. But in the meantime of that, I think we play 1v1 will come back. And Toby is here with us. Everyone say hi, Toby. Toby is the Chihuahua. He is now four years old. The greatest Chihuahua out of all Chihuahuas. Chihuahua. Who's trying to take South America, though? Sorry, I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. Maybe I can take South America. I'm not sure. We'll see. Hey. Hmm. The green player could go for South America because... Or no, maybe the red player can. We just need the white player to move his troops out of North Africa. Well, I guess he wants North America now. Maybe. If he does, that would really suck. Otherwise, then, I would have no choice but to go to South America and be landlocked. Being landlocked really sucks. Because then I basically become a spectator. But I'm not... I'm not entirely sure. You are getting very greedy now, my friend. The black player is becoming too greedy. Trying to hastily take Europe. Um, yeah. I think now is a good time he could take Australia. I'm not too sure because the, the, um, the green army is hovering over you and will possibly and probably destroy Australia, as we saw in the last game. And now, the white player will take Africa. Let's do it. Which is good that he takes it so it can balance so he can balance out the purple player. Hmm. Fantastic. I really need the green player to start putting troops down in South America. You know what? You know what? I think when I have a set, I will turn in my set and take um, South America? No, no, I don't know. I don't know. Here's what I'll do. To prevent the white player from taking out my three, I will put some right there. I will do this. Oh, dumb. Very poor mistake. Um, yeah, I, I'll put some troops there just to discourage the white player from taking out those extra troops. If I have a set, if I do, and I do not, but when I got a set, I will take out either the black army or the green army and give the white player the opportunity to take Argentina's troops and move them into Africa, or I'm just talking straight out of my rear end as red player is probably taking North America. No. Well, I guess the North America Chronicles are over. I will retreat into South America. And become landlocked for the rest of the game. Wah, wah, wah.
Or I could be the aggressive player, keep my army in Central, or uh, yeah, keep my army in Central America, thus preventing the red player from maintaining North America. And again, the black player is very greedy. Very greedy. So what I'm going to do, yeah, I guess I'll just, I will begin my retreat into South America, sadly. So I will take my army of six, add some troops there, attack Peru. Thus giving White the opportunity to take his troops from Argentina. And fortify Alberta into Central America. Maybe I will, I will prevent the red player from taking North America. Or... Um... No, I'm not going to... No, there's no way... The red player will bypass me and go straight into um the thing, the thing, whatever. This is the podcast hosted by me, myself, and I, and Toby. Right, Toby? What did he do? I look away one second and he did a deal. Did he attack? He just attacked Ukraine. That's fine. I don't care. Do, 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 do. I want a box of pennies. I want to get up another box of pennies, but I am a broke college kid. I'm not. I'm not supposed to go to work today, but a coworker asked me, "Hey, can you come in for me?" So I'll go to work because I need the currency. I need the extra hours for college. And maybe if I have a few extra. For maybe if I have a few, if if I have twenty five dollars to spare, I can get another box of pennies or two, hopefully. So, and that, my friends, is a sound of silver. Yes, I have a standing Liberty quarter from nineteen twenty five. I'm talking too much, am I? Well, it appears that we have our first disconnecting player. So. Because I'm under the assumption that the green player disconnected, I will take the territory. I will take Peru, thus eliminating any possibility of the green player putting more troops and becoming a nuisance for me. So, what I will do, what I just did, was give the white player the opportunity to take his troops out of Argentina, bring them into Europe, into Africa. Please do, though. Really appreciate it. And then the black player can also take Venezuela and attack Brazil, so it can be easier for me. Never mind. The black player is going to secure Australia and Europe, because he is very impatient. Very impatient. But acting that way is going to result in, uh, in problems. <clears throat> Maybe. Hope you did not disconnect. Kaboom! Probably better to keep them separated. That would be more difficult to invade. Well, I guess not. Please take your army out of Argentina. I would really appreciate it. Please take your army out of Argentina. Yes. Whoa! What? Are we playing true random? Oh my goodness, it is true random? I didn't notice. What? I had no idea this is true random. Wow. I had no idea this is true random. No wonder I was losing all those troops. Wow. If I knew it was true random, I would have acted more rational. 
Wow. Now I'm worried about how many troops I'm going to lose. Seven to three. Welcome, my friends, to True Random, where you lose way too many troops for no apparent reason. That was awful. I lost seven troops. Oh my goodness. True Random is evil. The white player had a 1% chance of failing the five against one. Something I realized was Balanced Blitz was invented, created to favor the attacker. But True Random does the opposite. True Random, I feel like True Random favors the defense. Which is why I lost seven troops in the process of taking how many? I don't know. But it was pretty dumb. Kaboom. What I would really want is to have a set and not use it right away, but just have it in like my back pocket. Not a good idea. Just random. Just random whittles you down. Well, you have a set, so I'll give you that. So yes, true random is fun. I will say true random is fun because you never know what's gonna happen. You prepare yourself for an attack, but it fails tragically and hilariously. But yes, as I was saying, I want a... Hold on, am I recording? Oh, okay. I want recording. <laughs> Again, I want a set that I can have for the ready, just in case something happens. And for example, I won't have my troops fortified. Oh goodness, it's pretty tempting to keep my troops in Central America and prevent the red player from having North America. But it's true random. In this case, if it is true random, I, sh I should do it because screw it, why not? I'm hungry. It's 244. 1% chance of falling out. All right. Why did I fortify into Argentina? I don't know. Bad idea, but whatever. Do I have a set? I do not. That's okay. It is okay. You have nothing to worry about. Hello. Taking out this five is going to be quite the hurdle. Because, again, I, let's just take the time to... Oh, okay, well, abandoning, okay, I guess we're abandoning North America. Cool. That'll give me a chance to take North America. Or at least some territory card. Kaboom. I have no idea why he is retreating into Asia, but if that's the case, I would... Oh, no. Oh man. Not... Oh, he's gonna take uh, Europe. I see. Smart. It's a good idea. I'm not being sarcastic. That was a pretty smart move. Okay. So now that the red players are treating out of North America, I will slowly but surely make my way into North America, while at the same time seeing if I can maintain South America. But if I lose South America to the white player, that is okay. It will just maintain the balance. Wow. 
Wow. North America is completely vacant now. What I'm going to do is... Let me set... No, I don't. What I'm going to do is take my troops. Attack this. Take my eight from Argentina. And bring it into the Central America. There we go. I'm going to keep it easy on the border right here. Of... North Africa, but I have an army right here just in case. And I'm probably going to keep the eight right here. So I'm going to work on... No, you can't do that in random, dude. You're not gonna do it, you're not gonna make it. That's what I'll say instead. See, as I was saying, I'm probably going to leave my army as is. So you'll have two layers to go through because it's true random. To play true random, the most recommended idea is to keep your army spread out. That way it is more difficult to... Um, that way it's more difficult to invade. So for example, if you were to invade North America, if I had North America, you would have to go through the four in Brazil, the 17 in Venezuela, and the eight in Central America, which is very risky. Look, 17 against 6, he's going to lose a lot of troops in the process. Well, sometimes you will, sometimes you won't. What I need to do is I need to get rid of the purple player immediately, because I know that the purple player is aggressive, kind of. So the next turn, I'm going to attack Quebec. But I'm not going to make it obvious and attack both Quebec and Greenland. I'm just going to focus mainly on um, the purple player and getting, getting rid of him. Because I know that the white player is being rational and the red player is being completely unpredictable. For all I know, I'm wasting my time trying to take North America and the red player will fortify his troops back. Yeah. See how many troops I lose in the process. That's fine. And um, when I guard Europe, I'm going to match it with 13, just to be safe. 13 or 12, when you're, gonna, when you're trying to appear to the other player that you are not going to attack them, you have two options, the first one. Uh, the first option is... Hold on a sec. The first option is to leave a very small amount of troops on the border itself and have a reinforcing territory, a reinforcing army uh, next to it, adjacent. So, for example, if you were to attack Greenland with an army of three, I will have an army of, I don't know, just a really big army. Oh, cool. He took out. Thank you. That is great. So yeah, if he takes out the army of three, he will unleash my biggest army. So that way he won't have the constant threat of, oh, I think he's going to attack me. Oh, I think he's going to attack me. So what I'm going to do is my turn, I'm going to turn in my set, and continue to work my way into taking North America. I'm going to take my time, though, because True Random, again, is a completely different way to play the game compared to, to Balance Blitz. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack Greenland and leave 10 troops there to match the black player, and probably bring my troops back to Quebec, and I will continue to take it, to take North America. I'm not going to leave my big army. Actually... Oh, snap. Look at that. That's, that's what happens, man. I'm... Oh, man. That's not good. I'm gonna leave... Let's leave eight troops right there. Yeah, we'll just leave eight troops right there. Not to feel too threatening to the black player. 
but I will continue to take um, North America while having a my primary army in the Northwest Territory. Once I have North America, I'm not going to guard um, Alaska as aggressively. Oh man, I knew it. I had a hunch, I had a feeling that something was gonna happen. That's okay though. As long as I still get a territory, as long as I still get territory cards, that's what matters. Do we have a disconnector? Do we have the first disconnector? Maybe. Just maybe. That would really suck. Dang, I think he disconnected. Well, if that's the case, I need to take my army out of Greenland and put it somewhere else. Okay, um, I just have to pause my mic for a second. What I'm doing is I'm under the assumption that the black player has turned into a bot. So what I'm going to do is retreat my army from Greenland to avoid it being attacked, but I'm going to keep fortifying my army into Central America to prevent the red player from taking North America. Because I know that, because it's true random, taking out the 44 against 18 you are going to lose more than... Um, okay, I see what he's doing now. He is landlocking the white player. Okay. So he's not going to take... He's not going to prevent me from taking North America, but the black player will do that instead. That's okay. As long as I still have... Oh, he's still here. Great. That's actually really good. Probably gonna fortify the three. No, he's not. He's going to landlock the white player. And I hope he does not attack my South America. That would be really bad. Because I think him and I are okay. But rather, what I'm going to do is bring some of my army back to Greenland and continue to take North America slowly but surely. Wow. He's landlocked. He's probably going to attack my South America, but... Uh, oh well. It'll just give me... It'll just make me fortify and bring more troops. That's okay. You lost seven troops in the process. Let's avoid that. Now it appears that I'm going on the offensive, the, the 
off offensive, whatever you call it. So I'm going to keep 19 against 25 because that is very risky for true random. But I'm going to continue to work on North America. I just hope that the 7 against 12 is going to be discouraging enough. But now that I know that the white player is willing to attack a territory, a continent for cards, now I know to be on the offensive side. There's a lot of different ways I could play this, but I'm going to do my shot. I'm going to show you my strategies one by one. That way, when you find me in a public match, you will destroy me. You know all my strategies. <laughs> What's happening? Is he just territory hungry? Yeah, he's trying to secure the 12 territories. <laughs> now he is landlocking the black player. Jeez. What happened? Wow, check that. What is he doing? He is nuts. Oh, he is just suiciding now. He's throwing the game. Wow, that, that's it, game over. Game over for him. Yeah, I'll attack after him. Keep it there. I'm really going in the offense this game, but I shouldn't play the same. I shouldn't play the same way for every match. The red player might try to take out the white player, but he's gonna wail himself down in the process. He's gonna weaken himself significantly. Wow. See, a true random is something else. True random really is something. Sometimes you can lose the ridiculous amount like the white player just did against my territory. But sometimes you can lose little to none. I have a feeling that the red player might do something. And, you know, bad decision. Hey, I'll give you a deal. I will take Africa, and I'll give you North America. Sounds like a deal to me. <laughs> oh, man. Check that out. I like your random. This is fun. This is pretty fun. I want to see. I want to see the battle log. I want to see this battle log. Come on. Here it is, this one. 30 against 19, that is unreal. I think the way I thought true random, I think the way I was thinking about true random was... Um, always have double the amount if you're going to attack something. With the exceptions of like two against four and whatnot. Maybe I'll still try to take North America. I, guess. I don't know. Come on! Gosh darn my Wi Fi. Whoa. What? Oh, we're attacking it again. I could 
two seconds. Man. Because you're gonna lose a lot of troops attacking anything other than one. I could probably litter my troop. I can litter my territories with ones. Maybe. Come on. Man, what is this about? Oh, what? <laughs> wow! He he blew it. Now he's giving he's giving the he's giving me to the black player. Wow. I gotta play more true random. This is really fun. The black player probably does not have a set. And I am going to survive this. Because the red player does not have a set either. I mean, I don't know. Just hoping that he's gonna attack his continents. Can I make a comeback? No. Can I try to survive for a bit longer? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do it. Go faster. No. No. Please, purple, do something. I don't have a set. I don't have a set, purple. Help me, please. No. He's just territory hungry. You're gonna take Asia? <laughs> Lovely. No. Well, this is my last ditch effort. Okay. Make it more difficult for him to take me out. Spread myself out a bit. Try to stall it just a bit more. Do I have an actual set? <laughs> nice. Just when I needed it the most. He's so mad. He is so mad right now. Now I'm going to use the little bit of troops I have and stay in South America. Start over. He just backed out, man. Come on. Please attack Africa. Yes. No, you're, you're not going to have enough. I'm telling you, you're not going to have enough. What? No. Oh, man. Oh, well. That's very, very unfortunate. Everyone's a novice and a beginner. Well, that was not too good of a game I guess but that's fine I think I'm done for the day I'll probably come back S Friday maybe yeah maybe Friday after work so tune in next time for more suiciders and poor playing players toodles <laughs>